Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today we are going to be taking a look at the 22250 and taking down a few trophies on the map that I think could potentially make diamond. This guy's basically guaranteed. We just ended up stumbling across him and I figured this would be the perfect time to start up this video. So let's take this guy down and then we're going to track down something else that I spotted last night that could also end up making diamond. And of course, we're going to hunt a bunch of other stuff in between and just see how this 22250 does and potentially even compare it to the 243 and the 223 at some point. But uh, we'll probably end up saving that for another video. Now, unfortunately, the wind is not being kind. Now, I think what we're going to end up doing is we're going to get up and try to get him to go alert just like that. And then we're going to get lined up with the 22250. And wait for him to go broadside and see if we can take him down. This is probably one of the biggest feral goat level 5s I've ever seen. Uh, definitely the biggest one I've seen on this particular early access. But uh, this thing looks massive. I shot it with the wrong gun. Oh. No. Well. We're off to a great start. <laughs> I am so sorry, sir, but I'm going to have to take out my anger on you because I cannot believe I just did that. I cannot believe I just did that. Wow. Of course, like one of the biggest feral goats I've ever seen. And I shoot it with the 300 instead of the 22250. And now everything's just coming to attack us. Uh, they know that I messed up and they're coming over to punish me. This is unfortunate. Okay, that one's gone. That, that one's out of here. Man, I can't believe I did that. You know, it's not very often that I use the wrong gun on an, on an animal. I think this might be just the third or fourth time I've ever done that since I started doing YouTube. So that is, that is quite unfortunate. I think I just got so focused on actually looking at the animal and talking that I, I didn't even double check to see if I had the right gun out. That is uh, quite unfortunate, but... I mean, I couldn't keep it regardless because we're on early access, but I have a feeling this is a monster. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. We're, we're good. Oh my gosh, that scared me. I thought that we had messed up bad there, but it was a troll, so it's okay. It's okay because it's just a troll. Well, we're off to a fantastic start. Just doing so good. I, uh, I suppose we should go uh, take down stuff that will hopefully be a little bit less disappointing than this one right here. Well, after that last incident, I have removed the 300 from my wheels so that we will not make that mistake again. It's not like we're going to be shooting anything with that gun today, uh, aside from that level 5 barrel coat. So uh, let's, uh, let's just continue on and hope things go better from now on. We've got a couple more trophies that I have managed to find over here. And of course, I saved it for this recording here so that we could hopefully take them down and also get to test out the 22250. Uh, one of these I will not be able to take out with the 22250, though. There is a Rusa that's a level 4, but it looks pretty big, so I figured we'd save it just in case it does make diamond. I don't think it's going to, but we haven't really seen a big Rusa yet, so it's going to be nice to at least get a look at it. As we are stocking up on the resting zone of some kangaroos, let's go ahead and take a look at a level 9 kangaroo that I ended up getting a couple days ago in the early access. Uh, for those that are not familiar, we've had probably a week before we're actually able to show things off uh, to prepare videos and explore the map and get everything ready for the early access starting the 16th, which will already have passed by the time you guys see this video. But uh, for context, we've been able to grind Quite a long time before the actual uh, release date of early access, so we have done quite a bit of hunting, and this kangaroo that we're about to take a look at was from that. That is a level 9 kangaroo. That is absolutely crazy. So the luck has just been going wild with this early access. We've managed to get ourselves an albino bantang. We also got a couple of piebald... Uh, Fallow deer, and now we've got ourselves a level 9 kangaroo that is running away, so we are going to have to track it down, but we're going to do our best to uh, get close to it and take it down. Uh, hopefully there is going to be an easy way to get it, but I don't really know how long they run. I guess we'll have to find out. 
Now, from what I have seen from other content creators, this really does look to be a animal that will troll quite often. So I'm not exactly hopeful that this thing will end up making it. And, well, we're about to find out because we somehow managed to pull that shot off. To be honest, I don't know how we did it. That thing was about to dart, and I took a really risky shot, and it looks like it paid off. There we go. There is our level 9 kangaroo on the ground. That is super, super cool. Let's see if this thing makes it. From what I've seen, they seem to troll a decent bit, so... Yep. Yep, 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 yep. That's... Yeah, that's what I expected. That is what I expected. Well, you know what? Still gonna tax it. We'll, uh, we'll take a look at it in the lodge. It's still our first legendary of the new animals. In fact, I think it's our first max level in general for all the new species, so that is really cool. And there it is. That right there is the level for Rusa deer that has a decent chance of being something nice. We've also got kangaroos that we spooked, and I'm assuming these are the kangaroos that I was trying to stock up on. And if that's the case, we may have to take down a kangaroo pretty quickly, as uh, the other thing that I had found last night when I was grinding was a level 9 kangaroo wherever it's gone. I'm going to assume that I already spooked. That's unfortunate. Of course, I I didn't see them, and they're now gone. So I suppose that gives us even more reason to take down this little Rusa deer first. And that's going to be the end of that Rusa. Let's hope this thing's a diamond. I don't know what the diamonds are going to look like. I assume they're going to look close to this, maybe a little bit bigger, based on the images we've seen and what Jaxi has shown off in the streams. Oh, there it is. There is our level 9 kangaroo. I don't think that's the same group. I think this one that we just saw is a different group. So I must have got confused as to where these groups were located because that is clearly a different group than the one that I thought he was in. So I, I, I guess he's got a different resting zone. And that is absolutely beautiful. Look at that little Rusa deer. Let's hope this guy ends up making it because that's a solid looking one. It is just a gold, but that was really close. That is about 12 points off of diamonds. That would be a big gold. Definitely not too bad. I say that I do like this. And to be honest, if I could get this rack with a rare fur type, that would be that would be pretty fire. Because the rares for the Rusadir look insane. I really want to find some of them. You know, we wanted this video to be a 22-250 video, and the only things I've shot are stuff that I didn't shoot with the 22-250 because of our accidental 300 magnum to that goat, and that Rusa deer not being able to be taken with the 22-250. So, this kangaroo is going to be the first thing that we will take with it, besides the, uh, the random female that attacked us earlier. You know, something I've noticed about these kangaroos is they share a lot of similarities with the mountain lions. Not the actual animal themselves, but just the the way they have level 9s quite often, but they also troll quite often. Uh, not to mention we run into quite a few scenarios where there's mythicals all over, which is very similar to the mountain lions. So I do think that they share kind of a similar, like, maybe level and scoring system and stuff because they do make level 9 quite often, but they troll a lot. There's 8s everywhere, and they don't seem to go below level 5 for the males. So they're very similar to the mountain lions in that regard. And they're just plentiful, like it's, like it's nothing. They're everywhere. Now, one thing that does set them apart is the fact that these are in herds, and... They will attack you, unlike the mountain lions. And that feels so weird to say because you would expect a mountain lion to be at least somewhat territorial and aggressive when you get near it, but for some reason they're not. Also, I just got to point out, look at these incredible animations for the eastern gray kangaroo. Like, this is... this is pretty wild. You know, I would absolutely love to get this thing to attack us. I don't know if we'll be able to, but I'm kind of tempted to get it to attack us. I think that if it doesn't and it runs away, we can always just track it down again. I want to try and get this thing to attack me. Because I feel like that would just be such a cool way to take down a kangaroo. And I mean, we got a big mythical there as well. We could probably try to get both of them. And it's fleeing. That's, that's unfortunate. They're all fleeing. Man, I was really hoping that they would go aggressive, but they decided not to. 
Something I've noticed is they don't seem to run that far. The mythical is already back to being nervous. And they move kind of slow. Yeah, that nine is done running. I think we're going to take it from right here. It's really all we can do at this point. And that is going to be a good shot taking down that kangaroo. Man, the 22250 is honestly not a bad gun. It's a lot of fun. Now, I think that was probably a hard shot, but still, we absolutely smoked that thing. Absolutely demolished it. There he is. That did not run far at all. Uh, that had to have been a hard shot. I feel like there's no other way that it would have gone down that quickly. Uh, let's just take a moment to appreciate the detail in these, though. That is pretty detailed. This may be, like, my favorite model they've ever done these kangaroos like the models the animations it's all just so good and that is a troll once again we can't get away from the troll kangaroos you know i'm gonna continue hunting around for them and try to find something else notable for kangaroos because i i need redemption we've had two trolls and zero diamonds this is getting ridiculous <laughs> this is getting absolutely ridiculous you know we're gonna check them out in their drink zone because Unfortunately, that's the one thing that's really going to suck about kangaroos. They drink from 0 to 3 in the morning, so not exactly the most ideal. However, they are quite plentiful, so maybe that'll make up for it. Let's go find out. It appears that we have found some kangaroos that are currently traveling to their drink zone. Unfortunately, every single group of kangaroos that I found are uh, <laughs> quite late to their zone, so that is a little bit disappointing. I was hoping they'd all be on time, but lo and behold, we've got a bunch that are late. In fact, this is the first group of kangaroos that I have seen, and I mean, we're already almost at the end of the drink time, so very, very unfortunate, and we spooked those off as well. We're just, we're just doing great. We're doing absolutely amazing with these uh, kangaroos. <laughs> I got a bad feeling that kangaroos are going to become my arch nemesis of Australia where they, they not only attack me all the time, but they troll me all the time, they don't cooperate in their drink zones, and they drink at night. Literally everything that I dislike about a uh, species in Call of the Wild. It's so unfortunate because I actually think the roos are really cool. And they're probably like one of my favorite looking species that they've ever added to Call of the Wild. So it's unfortunate that they just are going to probably irritate me to to no end. But it is what it is. I guess small price to pay for having a cool species in the game. There we go. We finally found a zone. Man, it's been about an hour since we started looking. And this is the first zone that I've been able to find. We have had such terrible luck with finding zones. And we finally have one. And of course, we get one to go aggressive. So, let's just take care of this before it gets too wild. Yeah, don't you dare kick me. <laughs> and that's going to be a lung shot as well. So, that gives us an even better idea of what this can do to the lungs. And honestly, not bad. 22250 is a solid rifle for being a class 2 to 4. I gotta say, that was lung and vertebrae, and it took it down pretty quickly. That's about the equivalent to a double lung. Definitely a solid little option now. Oh gosh, we got more. Man, I'm just trying to get over to the outpost. And we've just got aggressive kangaroos all over. I love how aggressive these things are. It seems like you can't go two feet without having one charge you when you get into their territory. And it really adds a lot to the hunt. Now this one's kind of heading towards where I think it went aggressive. And because of that, it's going further away. But we do have a second one right here. See if we can get close to it. Come here, buddy. Which one of you is going to come at me first? This guy right here is. Though I don't think this guy knows what he wants. He's just hes just continuing to run away. We've got a very confused kangaroo here. All right, let's just cut him off. Come here, buddy. Let's uh, have a little 1v1, eh? Nope. Honestly. That's going to be the play with the kangaroos. That is going to be the play. Get them in front of you. When you see them go for the kick, back up and take your shot. Because they seem to have a little delayed uh, animation that actually gives you a chance to smoke them. So, that is really good to know. And that right there is a perfect little hard shot. 
Yeah, you can see they're definitely very similar to the mountain lions in the fact that there is mythicals everywhere. And uh, as we talked about earlier, the level 9s don't seem to be insanely hard to find, but they do end up trolling a lot. So, they're very similar to mountain lions in all those regards. And uh, they, they are a much more aggressive species, though. Oddly enough, they're way more aggressive. And easy to kill when they go aggressive. That is just too much fun. Well, everybody, I cannot seem to find any more kangaroo zones. So, I think we're going to have to go ahead and just jump into the lodge and take a look at what we did find. Because these kangaroos are a lot tougher to hunt than I expected them to be. At least in their drink zones. I definitely would recommend doing their feeding and resting zones. Because in the nighttime, like, it's just not fun to hunt them. So... Let's go ahead and take a look at those in the lodge. And here we are in the lodge. This is that first troll kangaroo. And then this one is the second troll kangaroo. Honestly, they have some pretty cool poses. I'm definitely uh, liking what I'm seeing here. Unfortunately, though, they don't have any, like, uh, I, I guess, full body poses that you can do on these plaques. I thought that would have been really cool if you could just have them kind of sideways on the wall like you do with the rabbits. That would be really awesome, in my opinion. But, you know, it is what it is. I guess this is what we end up getting is just the uh, half body mount. And then, if you want to see full body, we've got these right here. And honestly, pretty wild looking. And then we also have the multi-mount, which we will build right now and get a look at that also. There we have it. The Roomble multi-mount. That is crazy awesome looking. That is so sick. <laughs> this might be one of the coolest multi-mounts they've made. Look at that. Like, that is just hilarious. Just boxing kangaroos. And then they've also got some other ones like this where he's knocked down and the other one's just kind of sitting over top of him. We got them kicking each other back. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. This is probably my new favorite multi-mount. I'm going to need at least a few of these in the lodge. Because this is just so good. That's got to be my favorite pose too. Or that one. Like that is just... That is so awesome. I mean, this is likely going to be the thumbnail, so you guys will probably have already seen this pose. But that's just that's so sick. I love that. And for those that were curious, this is that Rusa deer that we ended up killing. Definitely uh, not a bad Rusa deer. I do like the way they look up here. And you can kind of see the differences now between Rusa deer and Sambar deer. So there is honestly a decent difference or a decent amount of differences between them. But they do have similarities as well. I think time placement's a big difference. And then also the uh, face is a little bit different as well. Though, they do have a lot of similarities also. I think they're both really cool. I don't know which one's my favorite at this point. But I think I'm leaning more towards the Rusa. But I'll enjoy hunting the Sambar more. If that makes sense. I think these are the best looking and probably my favorite of the two. But I have more fun hunting the Sambar so far. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think of the kangaroos down in the comments section. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe as it takes quite a bit of work to do daily content here on the channel. And uh, it shows me that you guys appreciate all the work that goes into it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!